Another huge business for all you caterers out there is Easter week. Why do I call it Easter week? Because it's not just that day. A lot of corporate America celebrates the day on a weekday to be able to share it with their coworkers. So keep that in mind. It's another huge business day for all food entrepreneurs and that's why I created this video so you can benefit from it. So let's get right into it. What are the four tips? Tip number one is create Easter menu. As simple as it sounds, you need to have an Easter menu on your website, right? So the best way to do this or create it is to do some research. Watch your competition. Go to Google, type Easter catering near me and see what your competition is doing. That way you have an idea of how much to charge and what kind of menu your competition is doing and you can try to recreate that and make it your own, make it better. For example, if they're not adding dessert, they're not serving dessert or they're not serving dinner rolls in their catering packages, maybe you can add that to win you know, the clients that are searching and looking at people like that and comparing the different packages. Maybe add a few things. And if you want to be more affordable, maybe go be a little bit more affordable. Or if you want to charge more, it's okay. Charge more and give more service. Maybe you want to include plates and utensils and chafing dishes and set up a buffet. Maybe that's all included in your catering package and that would make you more attractive than your competition. So start thinking about things like that and create a Easter menu. That's step one. Step number two is creating an Easter catering web page. Not only will this help you with SEO, this will help you bring your Google ads costs lower too because Google will recognize that you created a whole page and you're talking about Easter catering menu and different services and options that you are offering. And Google loves that. So keep that in mind. Creating a web page that specifically talks about Easter. Maybe you can have a section that's called special menu. And when they click on your website on the link that says special menu, you have all your menus of Easter, holiday, maybe St. Patty's Day, they're all in on that page. That's what I do for my catering business. So keep that in mind. You need a web page. And it's very simple to do that. Either do it yourself or call your website guy to add one page. It shouldn't take more than a hundred bucks to do this if you're using WordPress. And then remember, Fiverr.com, you can find people to help you out with this. If your web person is missing or they're not around, they're not doing their job right. So keep that in mind. There are plenty of people out there that can help you. Or if you need help, just comment below in this video and I will try to help you out. Step three, post your menu on your Google business profile, which used to be called Google My Business. And all you do is you create a simple post inside your Google business profile. And if you don't know how to do that, just go on YouTube. There are plenty of videos out there that shows you how to post inside your Google business profile. What that will do is, again, it will help you in local search results when people are typing on Google. Google will recognize that post and they might show you for free for the people that are searching in your local area. That's why Google business profile posts are huge. And another tip, extra bonus tip is share your menu on your social media, wherever you have followers. Is it on Instagram or Facebook, TikTok, Twitter, wherever. Just share it and hashtag Easter catering menu. Remind all your existing clients. Here's another bonus tip. Email all your existing clients and remind them that, hey, you created this Easter catering menu. If you haven't done it in the past, it's okay. Watch a few YouTube videos and show the recipe to your chef or, or yourself and you can do it. It's not a big deal. The main dishes are ham and roasted turkey anyways. So how hard can that be, right? You can make anything by watching a few YouTube videos. So keep that in mind. And step number four is create Google Ads. If you want that extra push in local search and get more eyeballs on your catering Easter page, create Google Ads. And if you don't know how to do that, watch a YouTube video that has a lot of views 
and maybe watch two videos and you can, you can learn it. It's that simple. But you want to do all these four steps to be effective. Just one is not going to help you. You got to do exactly one through four and you will get job. The investment you're going to put in, you're going to make it back in tenfold because there's a lot of people that are, will be searching right now around Easter, depending on when you're watching this, but you want to start this a month before Easter. A month or three weeks is fine too. Even two weeks is fine. You know how many last minute people that are out there searching for services. So, but the best time is a month before to capture more business. I hope this video helped. Please comment and share this video with anybody that you think would help them. And if you haven't subscribed, smash that subscribe button so you don't miss another marketing tip from this channel. Thanks again. Now go build the business you love.